Welcome to Jen's Creation Station. This is Episode 1 in my new series, Late Night Lattes and Crafts. I'm recording this at 4.30 in the morning. The wind is blowing. It's 12 degrees outside. I live in northern Montana, and it just doesn't matter to me what time of year it is. I always love my iced lattes. So grab your favorite drink and join me for some late night fun. Today we're going to be making this really cute Santa card. This is my version of this card. Now this card has a little bit different colored cardstock. I didn't have that colored cardstock and I thought his beard was kind of plain. I also didn't have these scallop punches that were used so I used my Cricut and I'll show you how to do that. As you can see on my card there's a little bit of texture on his beard and that's just liquid applique heated with my heat gun and then I applied glitter. Liquid applique has a tendency to be sticky after it's heated even when it's cooled so the glitter keeps it from sticking. I'll be right back with the dimensions. For your card base you'll need a piece of red cardstock. Mine is real red from Stampin' Up! And this piece of cardstock is eight and a half by five and a half. It's a standard A2 cut. Fold it in half, and then you'll need to stamp in white some snowflakes around the edge. I used the White Craft stamp pad from Stampin' Up, and my stamp set, where I got my cute snowflakes, is called Holiday Seasons from Inka Dinka Do. You will also need a piece of craft or crumb cake is what I used from Stampin' Up! cardstock. That is four and inches by five and a quarter inches. And then you'll need to also stamp snowflakes on it. And then this layers on top of this, like so. And you can go ahead and adhere those together. We won't be doing anything more with those. For Santa's beard, as you can see on the original card, this is a punch and the punch size is three and a half inches. I didn't have any this punch and after I bought my Cricut I stopped buying punches like this because I can cut them on my Cricut or something very similar. So what I did is I cut two scallop circles and the first one is cut at three and a half inches and the smaller one is cut at two inches and I used my Accent Essentials cartridge and it's this cut right here and it's on page 62 of Accent Essentials and on the keypad overlay it's right here. Just use your shift key it's the fourth row down and you'll get these circles. Now on the smaller circle to make it stand out just a bit against the white I use Going Gray car ink pad and just barely sponge the edge with going gray and that made it stand out just a little bit on the large one and then you'll adhere this one to the middle of this one and that's the beginning of your Santa. The next thing you'll need for Santa's face is a piece of pink cardstock. I just use scraps of pink pirouette. You'll need a nose and you'll need an oval for his face. I used the Plant and School book. It's on the same button even on the keypad. It's on page 72. This is the circle I used and this is the oval I used. And on your keypad overlay, it's the first one on the bottom row. The circle is a regular cut and the shift will give you your oval. Now the oval is cut at one and three quarter inches and then you can either cut this on your Cricut as three quarters of an inch or you can use a three quarter inch round hole punch if you have one. Both work very well. And then to make his nose stand out I ink the edge with Pretty in Pink ink from Stampin' Up! and that'll make it stand out just a bit. Now for this next part I actually used my Stampin' Up! three quarter inch hole punch and what I did was I took a piece of scrap white cardstock and I cut two holes not quite at the edge but less than an eighth of an inch apart right here and what you'll do now is take this and lay it on the bottom half of the pink oval 
and I want you to sponge with a darker pink his two cheeks. And as you can see, you can see those two ovals sponged in, and then his nose will sit in between. We've got Santa's beard and part of his face done. I haven't adhered his little round nose yet because we need to put his mustache underneath it. So I'm going to set this aside for now. I just wanted to show you the placement so you knew where to put the oval at. So the next thing we need to cut is his mustache. And these are leaf shapes that I cut with a walk in my garden on my Cricut. And this is the leaf I used. It's blackout setting. It's on page 109, and on the keypad overlay, it's right here. It's the third row down, and I just used the blackout key. I cut these small leaves at a half inch on my Cricut, and while you have your white card stock out, I want you to cut two quarter inch circles with one of your punches, and then on a black card stock, I want you to cut two eighth inch circles these four pieces are for his eyes. So here is replacement of his two mustache pieces. His nose will go right here at the top of the mustache pieces. Let me glue that on. Like so. And here's the replacement of his eyes. I kind of have my Santa's eyes looking over to the right. And our next step is to put our Santa hat on. Now for Santa's hat, you're going to need to do a diagonal cut. This piece of red cardstock is four and a quarter inches by two and a half inches. And you'll need to score before you cut at three quarters of an inch. And then we're going to cut this at a diagonal and one half of this will be his hat. I'm going to line this up on my paper cutter. I'm just going to cut that. And here's his hat. I'm going to fold this down on the three quarter inch mark. And then what I want you to do is on this long side, I want you to trim off from the fold just a little bit so that it doesn't show. And there we have Santa's hat. We'll tuck that behind his head and he'll have a red hat. I wish I could tell you that there's an exact place to put this hat, but there really isn't. Let me turn him over so you can see the back. The scallop circle sits just right along the edge of this hat right here. and. You just kind of have to play with it so that most of his face shows. That helps a little bit. And then you'll also need to glue his hat right here, so let me do that. Just a little bit of glue to hold that hat in place. Hold that for just a second. And there's Santa's hat. Now the next thing I want to do is along this edge, this, is, this was your uncut straight edge. You'll need to trim about three-eighths of an inch off the bottom of his hat. Otherwise his hat will stick off the edge of your card. So let me do that real quick. There we go. And that's what he should look like before you put the little pom-pom on the end of his hat. Now for the end of Santa's hat, you're going to need a little flower punch, as you can see. And I used, this is a very old punch from Stampin' Up, called Spring Bouquet. You can use any little flower punch you want. And I just punched down a little flower. And this little flower will be the background on the end of his hat. This will go right here. And then these little pom-poms with gold and white, that'll go right on the end. And I'll be back in a minute to show you how that's all put together. So here's our card all put together. Uh, I did elevate Santa and his hat on some foam tape, just a single layer. And then on the pom-pom, I did cut off the back of it. Most of my cards are mailed, and it just will make it a little flatter for mailing. And our next step is kind of fun. We're going to swirl our 
liquid applique on and then we're going to heat it with the heat gun and add glitter. For our next step we're going to be doing the swirls with liquid applique. Now this is a tube of liquid applique. I'm using white and the really cool thing about this is that when you heat it it puffs up. It's perfect for snow or texture. This comes in many colors but today we're just going to be using the plain white. So all I did was start on the outside and just kind of applied this so it's swirly. Now a general rule with the liquid applique is a little goes a long way. It doesn't take much. Don't worry about getting too many swirls. Just go all the way to the edge and as soon as I finish this I will puff it with the heat pen. Now I've got all the liquid applique applied and I'm going to start heating it. You don't want to wait too long. You don't want your liquid applique to dry. This is kind of a noisy process, so when I'm done getting it all heated and puffed, I'll be back. As you can see, it's already puffing right away. So now I have it all puffed up, and I want to immediately apply glitter. And I'm using the glitter, crystal fine glitter from Martha Stewart. And I'm just going to shake it all over his beard. And there you have his glittered beard. I'm not sure if you can see the effect, but it sure adds texture and shine to his beard. So here's the final version of my Santa card. I use my close to my heart atomic lowercase alphabet to put the ho 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 on the bottom of the card. And I use real red ink. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Late Night Lattes and Crafts, and I hope you'll join us again. Thanks for stopping by Jen's Creation Station.